Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is going to be my Pisces, my Pisces, my Pisces. Oh, I just realized it's going to be a heavy read. I just know it is. Because I, I feel like everybody is, is Pisces right now. All right? We all got a little piece of Pisces. All right? Who doesn't like a piece of pie, though? Okay? That's what I'm going to say. Who doesn't like an effing piece of pie? All right? So, read that at the end going on with my fish okay i feel like it's not the heavy heavy okay I, I feel like it's a lot i'll tell you that i feel like you know fun's about to come around the corner um don't worry about not finding exactly what you're looking for right off the bat whatever it is you're seeking for type thing um Use your intuition when it comes to certain things. You got the nine of wands. There we go. I was just saying about the seeker. Okay. So, you know, it's at your last step. Like, I just feel like my fishies need to chill out right now. Okay. There's that nine of wands again. It's it's like, where's that integrity with the tower? All right. But it's, it's reverse. It's coming out of that. And the tool world's at the bottom. All right. This talks about, that's a better word. I don't know why I didn't think about this. Okay. This is heavy reflection. Right now, we have a little bit of a lack of integrity. Okay, so it's like, to me, it's more the way I just position myself. It's more self-esteem, okay? I, I feel like, I don't feel like you're avoiding the tower. I just feel like, well, some could be, but I feel like this is more like, I feel like you can't handle this change like you can though you know what I'm saying so it's either that or you know the tower already happened but to me it's it's no it's where's your self-worth where's where is it where is your backbone in this situation is what it's saying like basically what it's saying is like what the f is like I'm pissed all of a sudden like what the f is this bullshit who are you you are not this person you are not this person to back down so why are you bowing down all right. Why are you bowing down right now? Because that's what's happening. And I just saw um, spiritual meaning of 222. Two, two. I know it's balanced relationship. It's a lot of things, guys, but I'll stop talking to it. Um, it's also, I know it has to do with luck. Let me look real quick. It's like manifesting miracles, auspicious time in your life. Opportunities are coming, a peaceful sense of your life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what are you doing right now? Um, it's about family, harmony, relationship. That's numerology. Um, but it's, it's, it's pursuing an idea of something. Okay. Um, and, and stand up. It's also standing up and it's like, here's this new cycle for growth and expansion. Like, what are you doing right now? You know what I'm saying? Um, but it, it's also, um, what was the other meaning I was looking for? Ah, oh, shit, it clicked though. Um, I'm not going back in, but it does talk about standing up for your beliefs too, which is the integrity. It, it's, it's side by side. So what are you doing? You are not this person. You are not this effing person, my fishies. Like what? What? Since when do you bow down? For real. Since when? All right? Don't don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right? You're in heavy heavy reflection. Do not stay in reflection like that for too long because what it's doing it's 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 weakening your power right now because the thoughts that you're having are, are way too overwhelming. When I guarantee it's not a simple solution, but there's a more simple way of going about what it is you need to go about right now. Okay, like worth waiting for engagement. So this is what this is saying is this relationship, whatever it is that's on your mind coming your way, this shift, this change that you feel. It's very overwhelming to you. Like, holy fuck. All right. Excuse my mouth. Worth waiting for engagement. Express your love. Okay. So what this engagement is, like, don't, it's not like, yeah, someone's going to put a ring on it. Okay. But that's not what it ever is to me. This is just saying, this is going to be one of those relationships that elevate quick. And so maybe you know that. So you're kind of like, oh, look at that. Holy crap. Past life relationship and true love. Like, this can't get any more beautiful right now. I'm, I'm telling you, like, what did you guys steal the cappy energy you little thieves you little thieves all right but the thing that's going on right now is 
like literally like what happens to your backbone like for real these come on all right get out of the deep blue sea and, and start start wiggling your way onto land please okay because you're literally suffering suffocating yourself like the water you're swimming around in right now is not oxygenized okay like seriously i'm not kidding you need fresh air right under that is the sun i was like whoa you need fresh air okay like wake up call you know when you go outside in new england or it's just cold in general and you you get that like wooey that crisp air that can freeze your little nose hairs okay that's what you need all right so if you, you know you live in a warm land or whatever like stick your head in the freezer for a minute please i'm not playing tell me about integrity all right like hello I understand this is a new feeling and it's a little frightening and it's a little intimidating but this is absolutely gorge tell me about tower so stop stop okay here you are all right but you're not blinded all right you're just like uh, it's like an eclipse for you I don't know if you went through a void you know this is this these two colors right here like you can't avoid this either you can't avoid eclipses. You can't avoid this. All right, what's that song? The Eclipse of My Hat or something like that? Like, this is what this is. Like, this is just your straight up nerves, okay? Um, do what it is you do in order to reach out to this person. Or You know what I'm saying? Like, because this is your energy. You have this new start. And I'm telling you, I'm feeling for some because it just occurred to me, this opportunity might not come around again for a while. And I don't know why I'm saying that. In my Cappy video, I said that it was in one of the moon cards, but I just felt it for you. So I don't know if you're dealing with Cappy or not, or you got Cappy. In. I don't know your scenario, but I feel it. And this is true love. Like express how you feel. You know, like you've waited a long time for something like this to come into your damn life. And I think you're just like, <laughs> Uh, like you're like whoa like over over reflecting i didn't even know that was a thing but you're over reflecting you're drowning in your water okay like literally step outside of the water right now okay like start like no no joke you need to step out of this water right now like it's drowning you okay you need this you need the fresh air you need the crisp you need to feel alive again, okay? And you will, but you have to take that step. Tell me about worth waiting for. This is pure. This is raw. This is gorge. Gorge, 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 gorge. All right, you got the daughter of wands, all right? So, and I'm telling you, this is like one of those brass necklaces or gold necklaces of like a snake with this wand and these roses, these promises, the, these love, this adventure, this travel, this inspiration, this spark that this person gives you is solid, solid. And it's only a, pit, a princess. Remember I told you they were coming in as the daughters right there? All right, the, that's your empress right there, all day. Um, I was gonna do engagement all right so we have the five the five of um pence reverse so this is coming out of this feeling okay but this to me with these damn roses like i said these are broken promises you must have promised something to somebody and and it could have been just as simple you know i'm not even gonna go there but it could have been a simple promise and it got broken and you're just afraid to take that next step with somebody because it's intimidating. It's just straight up intimidating because of the past scenarios, but don't let your past affect your future. Step out of the water. Express your love, express your love. Um, and you've known this person for a long time. This is one of the, this, this is one of these sit scenarios where you look at this person and you feel each other's souls. So I, I get it, but like, you know, what is this? It's the moon. All right, so go after the the unknown. All right, like don't worry about it. Like go into the forest. Like I said, like look at, like stop. You you're over reflecting. So you're reflecting so much. It's confusing the shit out of you. 
just go towards it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just go, go towards it. Give it, give it your all. Why not? It's true love. You feel like this is true love. This just doesn't pop out for no reason. Express your love, true love, engagement worth waiting for. Like, woo we life partner, life partner all day. Tell me about true love. I understand it's intimidating. Okay, you got the six of pentacles. Go balance out those scales that need to be balanced out, apparently. Look at all these flowers, these roses, these broken promises. Whether you broke them to yourself or this other person. All right, tell me a past life relationship. Um, I, this is why I think it's so damn intimidating for you. But it's all good. It's all good. Just do it the right time. Just do it the right way this time around. All right, the love is in the tool one. Exactly what I said. Like, you've been there, done that. This bond, inseparable destined start walking the path look at this four pick the four of wands the two the two and the two stability foundation solidness okay all you gotta do look at what else fell out stop stop juggling it's already put together all right the love is there stop stressing stop worrying about make your own judgment call father of cups mother of cups court cards okay one more step. You got this. Make this call. Oh, you got one more. The chariot. Go. Okay? Go, 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 go. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. All right? This solid. Unbreakable. What do you call that? Like, I don't know. That's like a 100 carat gold. It's not even a thing, but that one is. That's, that's unbreakable. That, that snake, that bond, that, that shit's like... I don't know what it, it's reminding me of right now, but it's like, I got the goosebumps. It's reminding me of something. Like, it's just, I just know whatever it is, is completely unbreakable. But I can't think of like, just effing solid, okay? that That's the word for that. Solid. This is a reminder. My child. Sometimes I need, need to remind you of a lesson you've already learned. This is speaking of your past. And I, I actually felt that when I saw all this, all this mumbo jumbo with the tower. This is so important. Because your past, the way you're reflecting, is stopping you. When I provide you with a familiar situation where you follow your, the path blindly or choose another direction. When you draw this symbol, it reminds you to remember that all you've learned in life until now don't forget what you've already learned. It's not necessary to learn the same thing twice. Then again, how else do you learn? Keep the faith. Be good to yourself so you can start again. If you make a mistake, if you stumble, I will certainly catch you. Remember what it is you know. So don't, don't, you're over, so you're over reflecting, but what it's saying, if you make a mistake, it's all good. People make mistakes, but stop worrying about making a damn mistake. You've learned lessons. You have grown up. Step out of the dark sea and step into the light with my fishies right now. Step on the land. You're drowning in your thoughts. Step out. Get the fresh air. Like, no joke, as I'm saying, like, step, step out. Like, I, I'm not playing with you. That, that fresh air. Stick your head in the effing freezer, please. Take a cold bath. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I know, no fun. But but do it. Your body, what this is saying, your body needs this shock. Like, because you're stuck. It's a different kind of, it, it needs a shock. I'm not playing. All right? Don't let your past hold you back. And I only, I like them when they fall out, but I only grabbed it because it went upright. Okay? But this is what I'm saying. This is what these cards are saying, reminders. Stop reflecting so much, all right? Your commitment's being tested. You don't like being tested, all right? Bring love into this situation. Um, so, it's all good, guys. Uh, just stick your head in the freezer, okay? Just stick your head in the freezer. The south node is like your north node. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, but it's a comic point in your life, all right, that relates to the past, all right, perhaps even in past lives. 
Okay. We know. We know. Okay. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that you're just trying to reprogram right now. You got to step out of conditioning. It's stopping you from achieving what you need to achieve. If you feel stuck in something, this card will often bring up the sign of a situation or a relationship that you're asking about. But you feel like it's suffocating and sometimes toxic, but it suggests that somebody or even needs, something just needs to be released. There's nothing toxic here. There's some kind of addition going on. There's some type of unhealthy attach attachment too that you need to sort out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some huge changes in your life. Okay, even if staying where you're at makes you feel at ease, you you still have to have your feelings stay easier. Okay, like an easier feeling. Okay, because like safety, you don't even feel like you're safe like that. You know what I'm saying? But the situation you're going towards is going to give you those feelings. Okay, attune to the moon. So it's saying you need to release the past. All right, a karmic relationship has played itself out. Let it go. You're holding on to shit. From a karmic relationship, okay? Your attraction to someone might be verging on onto obsessiveness, okay? But this what they're saying is either way, okay? Either way, because you're reflecting too much. This it can't go this way, it can't go that way. You just had five 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 two. It did your life it needs a major change right now. You gotta you gotta stop holding you're sinking because you're harboring. You are harboring dead weight. Okay. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So I, I don't know if you're fighting the universe, what you're doing, but you got a beautiful love story right in front of you. Okay? So you need to let go of something right now. It, it's a phase. Okay? But this is, these last two cards they gave you it is what's holding you back from taking this, this last step. All right. So somebody obviously hurt you guys. Pisces. Somebody obviously hurt you guys in the past. And it's just, it's like unbearable. Like you feel like, like you can't unbreak that. So this love that you can't unbreak, that's how you feel about your past, whatever you're harboring. So you're in a, you're, you're in more than an effing pickle jack. Okay. Like I, I feel like you feel like you're soldered together. Like how do I break, like it's crazy, you know, believe in the possible. All right. You need to believe in yourself and in this situation right now. Someone just had that card. All right. Um, it says, draw on this card, okay? That's what I just said. All right. This, yeah. This is the same effing card that I just talked about in the beginning of my read that Cappy's just had. How crazy is that? I knew I was feeling that from you guys. Wow. Okay. Draw on this card suggests you're about to have a rare chance. All right, a one-in-a-lifetime thing. This card is a possible sign that you felt like you were hoping for too much, asking for too much from the universe. Whatever you're asking about, it can happen and will happen. However, it is a rare opportunity before you. It is important that you believe in it. Have you convinced yourself otherwise, okay, that it won't go in your favor? Don't do that. Be grateful for this card. This is a reminder to believe in your dreams. Attune to the moon. It says you are lucky. Miss the chance, and it might not come back anytime soon. So basically, it's destined, so it'll probably come back around, but it's not saying anytime soon. So if you want to get real comfy near that rock, that's on you, but that would be foolish. All right, so miss this chance, and it might not come back anytime soon. What happened may only happen once. This person you inquire about is a rare find. If you believe it, you can achieve it. This situation will unlikely repeat. So you're so worried about this shit repeating. Like I said, stop worrying. This person is like the, the love of your life, your dreams. It's like you know it, but you don't know it, or you're fighting it. I'm telling you, it is something. All right, but the universe is saying it's unlikely to repeat. You've learned lessons. You've done this. You've been there. All right, this person you're inquiring about is a rare find. I'm telling you, you missed this chance. It might not come back anytime soon. Again, you're like, uh, you're probably to the point where you're fighting it. Well, it's destiny. It will. Yeah, but it might not for years. And then when it does come back around, how do you know it's not going to be a lot harder to put yourself in that situation? How do you know they haven't moved on, regardless of the love? You never know what people are going to take at the end of the day. Because everybody is different. They live their life the way they, according to how they want to live their life. You know? I, I don't know. It just seems like a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity right in front of you. 
with true passionate love. All right. And it's just, it's there. All right. I'm, I'm telling you, go stick your head in the freezer. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Bye guys.